We are a country of innovation and we do things that the future of the economy, the global economy, um, rely on our capacity to innovate, to invent, to create. That's why we have organized this, this, this uh, uh, competition for innovation on seven sectors that we have identified as key sectors for the future. Energy storage, recycling of metals, plant chemistry, development of marine resources, personalized medicine, silver economy and big data. Those are the seven sectors of economy in which we believe that there is huge potentials for the future. The more I know Denmark, the more I discover your country, the more I realize how your country is dedicated to innovation, tradition and innovation. And I would say a tradition of innovation. And uh, that's why I think that in Denmark, more than everywhere in the world, there is a huge potential for participating in this competition. Uh, you have very uh, um, talented uh, creators, you have uh, inventors, you have uh, renowned high schools, universities, and of course companies that consider that innovation is key for competitivity. In France as well, we, are, we have a long tradition of innovation. Um, France in Denmark is known for holidays, for good wines, but I'm sure that very few Danes know that helicopters have, in, have been invented in France, cars have been invented in France, planes have been invented in France, uh, even bicycle. And more recently, we are very proud of the first uh, artificial heart that have been implanted in the body and that works. Uh, this is a very recent French uh, invention. I don't think it would be exaggerated to say that innovation is rooted in French DNA, at least in French culture DNA. But it's also encouraged by our policies, in particular tax policies. We have a very new powerful tool named the tax credit instrument, which is uh, gifted with um, 6 billion euros per year in order to encourage, help and stimulate innovation for companies. In terms of time frame, uh, this uh, competition will start on March uh, 2014 and uh, the very end will be in 2016, so it's a one year and a half process. And I invite uh, all those who are interested to check on the website of the embassy. You'll have all the details regarding this competition. And I think this will concern not only the companies, not only the countries, but the result of such a competition, according to the themes that we have selected, will be of great help for the future of humanity.